everybody, Nick LaCocco here with my buddy Eric Tate, and we're here to talk about Stellar by Alchemy Insiders. And what this is, is a card clip that you can use to store your playing cards, and it has a secret built into it. Uh, we're going to open up the box, take a look at the clip, and then we'll show you a little what you can do with it. Yeah, I'm excited. This is a really, really cool effect that I know we've both spent a lot of time playing with. I like this trick a lot. It's super I good. Do. I do. When, when I first got my hands on this, I was really excited. Uh, and I'll tell you a story a little bit later. But anyway, so you have this awesome uh, little stellar box on the back. You have the Alchemy Insiders uh, logo. Again, I always loved all these little cool boxes we get now. I'm, I'm from the paper bag or the plastic bag era, <laughs> yeah. you know, Eric. So anytime we get nice packaging, I'm excited. You know, you know what's really nice about this too is because the packaging is so nice is that when I'm not using it and carrying it in my pocket, it's a nice place to store this because sure. this is kind of a nicer card clip with like a nice finish and everything that we'll see in just a moment. And having somewhere nice to put it rather than just like throwing it in a drawer, like it's just, it's just that much better. Absolutely. So here it is, uh, and if you don't know what a card clip is, I will show you. Um, it comes with the clip and then of course a little a baggie to store it in as well, uh, but we'll leave that in there for right now. We'll take a look at the actual clip. So it's kind of got like a gunmetal look to it. Yeah. It's really shiny um, and it's a bunch of holes through this just really pretty looking piece of metal. Uh, there's a logo on the inside mm -hmm. by Alchemy Insiders, kind of a, like, etched or burned into there. Yeah, yeah, it looks, it, it's re it's really, really nice. Uh, and it's, you know what I like about this is that like, they put their name in it, but they didn't like brand it all <laughs> over the outside so that when you're showing this to your spectators, they're yeah. like, what does Alchemy Insiders mean? Yeah, just, nobody's, yeah. nobody's ever gonna see that. Like, in fact, I didn't, I don't even think I knew it was in there until I was getting ready for this <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a really, it's a really well, well-placed like logo. It's very yeah. subtle, very nice. So a card clip, what does a card clip do? Well, you put your deck of cards inside it and it really just, it kind of clamps them down and keeps them, keeps them nice, keeps them fresh. You use card clips a lot. I do use card clips a lot. One of the reasons I, I use them the most is because it keeps the box nice. Right. Um, I, I do a lot of work where I'm like putting cards under box and then putting the box on top of to store it or like card under box. And I just like my box to look a little bit nicer. And, and even with my everyday carry deck, having a card clip when I'm putting it in and out of my pocket, it keeps the corners of the box nicer. It mm -hmm. you know, helps prevent you know my keys from like scratching the box. Uh, up so that it so that it looks ugly. It's uh, it's just a really nice way to keep your uh, your deck yeah in good condition. I used to always keep like get specialty decks and yeah. then like my invisible decks. You know, back when mark decks were really expensive. Oh yeah, I always oh, kept my mark decks in a card clip. Everyone in a clip. Uh, but this is one you know so you can carry it around with you every, all the time because you just keep your deck of cards in it. But this clip does an incredible trick. Yeah. Right. So uh, if you probably it, maybe you haven't watched the other video on this, but what this does is display a playing card when you shine light through it. Uh, and let's talk about how that works exactly. Basically, this card clip will reveal the seven of diamonds, okay? And the way that that works is that there is, um, when you shine the light through it, you can see these different holes here. When it's completely flush with the light, only the seven of diamonds, the shape of the seven of diamonds will be able to, the light will be able to pass through those holes because it's actually, carved out that way. If you angle it in, in any other way, it, the, the light's not gonna be able to pass through directly and you're gonna get a bunch of different uh, spots on the table. Let me kind of show you what I mean because that's what's great about this. You would just use your phone yeah. and the flashlight because now we all have flashlights in our pocket, <laughs> which is amazing. Yeah, and it's a really interesting effect too because when you hand it to your spectators, unless they know the secret, you know, they might think, oh, just anytime you flash well, the light through it, that it's going to look like the Seven of Diamonds. And uh, and because you know exactly the angles that it needs to be, it can you you can actually make the effect happen while spectators can more or less examine it. Yeah, now, you, unfortunately, just the way that this works, I mean, this is a trick with lights. So <laughs> we're here in a studio with like a thousand <laughs> lights. Not the ideal place to do this trick. This trick would work amazing in any bar or really almost in... I wouldn't do it like outside, but in any like indoor setting, you're gonna be able to get a shadow to go through this thing, especially when you have your, you know, your heavy duty light on the back of your phone. So unfortunately, you're probably not gonna be able to see the way that it sparkles on here, but uh, well, maybe we'll, we'll have a clip or something so that you can see. You can make it sparkle, and all I'm doing is just moving the clip around so that it, it, the light is coming in and out of different, 
different holes. It's a really pretty effect that your spectators are very often very taken in with. Even if you're not using this for an effect, you know, playing with the constellations and making a twinkle is just, there's something, there's a very magical moment and a very magical quality to that, even the, even if you're not revealing a playing card. Yeah, yeah, and of and just, it won't, o it's only one side that, that it's gonna be able to go through. Because if you go to the other side, it's gonna be backwards, right? So what's nice is that even if you wanna give the, the clip to your spectator to tr have them like try to like, move the, the stars around, they're not gonna find the seven of diamonds yeah. because they can't, because it's just gonna be back, they're not gonna see it, right? And because of the way the seven of diamonds is carved into the perforations throughout the metal, it, it's, it doesn't leap out at you. When you look at this, at no, no, point, you, yeah. at no point do you look at this and go, oh, the seven is right there. The, uh, the, the cats at Alchemy Insiders really did a nice job in designing the whole pattern to really conceal that card reveal. Yeah, when you get this, if you just like hold it up to your face, like to a light, you'll be able to see, you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Right now, the light is only coming through the holes that say seven of diamonds to me, because I'm holding it like directly flat in front of my face. But let me show you like what I, what I do with it. Oh yeah. Yeah, so like here, I would have the spectator shuffle the cards. So go ahead and shuffle those up. And then while they're shuffling, I'd bring out the card clip and I'd say, I keep my deck of cards in this, but also this has a way of uh, creating constellations. You know what those are. And mm -hmm. then you can start talking about the stars and astrology or all that. Here, spread these out on the table and uh, just just take one of those out. Just uh, slide one out, but don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay. And I'll show you um, how to read the constellations to find selected cards. Mm -hmm. Right. So I would pick up the my phone and in the. The, the card clip and make the <laughs> make the stars go through <laughs> and my spectators are like what is going on yeah. but basically I can say oh, oh I can see it I can see it I'm reading the five of diamonds the five of diamonds turn it over and you five get the of five of diamonds here I'll do it again but I'll show you how it works okay okay I'll show you how it works maybe take out another one just take out any other card uh, about, just don't uh, look at it though all right this right here perfect and I'll um here, I, actually, I know why you didn't you didn't see the last one, right? No. Uh, well, here, I'll, I'll straight see if you can see this. I don't I don't see it. I don't see it at all. I see the two of spades. Turn it over. <laughs> two, two of spades. spades. Right. I know the problem though. What? I well, <laughs> it's facing me. He's very serious. It's facing me. I have to turn it to face you. Oh. So that way you can see. Okay. Right? Makes sense. Uh, so here, we'll just use this one. You go okay. for this one there. Just try to read what's right. going on here. And tell me when you see something. Do you see yeah, anything? Yeah, it says uh, seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds? That's yes. what you see. I can't see it because it's upside down. Seven That's of diamonds. Right? It's, it's, I, admittedly, I know how it works, but it's still, it's so cool when you see it because it just sort of glimmers into view. It's really, yeah. it's really a really magical moment. I really love having the spectator read the seven of diamonds. Yeah. Um, that routine, funny enough, I, I wrote that routine quickly, but the, um, the first time I ever performed this, when we had the, the P3 theater going here, there was somebody interviewing us for a newspaper or mm -hmm. something. So I had to meet her at uh, Panera Bread. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, dumb me, I don't know what I was doing the night before, who knows. But when I showed up, I had, like, no magic on me. I mean, I had a deck of cards, <laughs> but I was like, I wasn't... Yeah. How stupid am I to think that I shouldn't be showing this person some magic, yeah. right? Anyway, because she was there to interview us about the theater. Anyway, I had this on me, but I had just gotten it. I yeah. never even tried it. I'm like, well, why not? Let's give it a go. <laughs> it blew her mind. It blew her mind. It's so yeah. much so that she wrote about it in the actual, in the actual article mm -hmm. that she wrote. So this is a fantastic trick just to have on you. I mean, you're yeah. already going to carry a card clip maybe already, and this is just another thing that you can do. You know, it's really nice. It's it's well designed. It's very sturdy. I mean, they even they even thought to like make a thumb notch in here for taking the cards in and out yep. of the clip. It's just the the whole thing is just really nice. It's it's a very pleasing prop uh, to handle and it classes up, you know, your cards well, a little bit. I mean, I the, th the nice thing is like I can see having this at sort of like my uh, regular restaurant gig or some of the higher end corporate gigs that I'm doing where I want to like I want to sort of have some class and panache about me I mean this really fits into a lot of different environments there's one other thing and and this is it I haven't I haven't had the, t the spot to do this in yet mm -hmm. but it's awesome mm -hmm. and that is you put the, the light on the table oh. and then you go this way with it oh man to the ceiling and then it's it plays so, so big right if you're in the right room this is amazing. Oh, yeah. um, there was a trick on, I, we talked so much on these videos, but there was a trick on the Matthew <laughs> Beach lecture where he was shining a light up through a playing card that he had to cascade oh, yeah. something on the ceiling. And I'm like, man, that's amazing. And now 
you had to make this crazy gimmick in Matthew's lecture. Now you can just get this, and you can do the, essentially the same, the same trick. But yes, it can play up as well. So good, so yeah. good. So this is, uh, this is Stellar by Alchemy Insiders. Great, great piece of, piece of uh, product here, card clip that I know that you're going to use. But that's about it. My name's Nick. This is Eric. We'll see you next time.